Welcome once again to Musings by Danan. If you're new here, my name is Danan. I've been watching anime since 1985, and I'm currently reading over 500 manga or light novel series. As someone who's read a lot of manga and light novel series, I find myself in a position where most of the new shows airing this fall are based on stuff I've already read. Don't get me wrong, I'm still excited for the new season, and you should be too. But I wanted to take a minute and go over the shows I'm excited for this season, and why you should be as well. Before we get started, I'd like to quickly ask you to like and subscribe. It really does help the channel, and it's free. With that out of the way, let's get into the video. To start, let's discuss sequels. Might as well get them out of the way. I'm very excited for the new season of Goblin Slayer, but I'm not sure which stories we'll be getting. Season 1 covered Volumes 1 and 2, as well as some of Volume 4, which was just a collection of the short stories. The movie was Volume 5. From the trailers, they may skip ahead and do the Elven Kingdom arc, but I'm not certain. We'll have to wait and see. Of course, everyone's favorite fake family is making a return. Spy X Family continues the adventures of the Forgers, and for manga readers, the long-awaited cruise ship arc is coming. I'm incredibly excited for a few of the scenes coming up, but I don't want to spoil them for anime onlys. But manga readers should recognize this image. Next up, we've got the series starring everyone's favorite sociopath Chinubio, Eminence in Shadow. This time, Sid's sister finally gets hold of him and drags him to the lawless city. While there, a red moon rises, signaling the rise of vampires. No, it's not a spoiler, go watch the trailer. Of course, the Lawless City arc is less than half of Book 3, so who knows what else we'll get to see this season. Continuing the Isekai trend, an anime that should have gotten more attention when it aired, and I think more people have since discovered it, Far Away Paladin. This is a solid Isekai story with redemption, growth, great characters, overcoming dangerous challenges, and beautifully animated action. I believe that Season 2 will start off slow, similar to Season 1, but don't worry, if you enjoy good fantasy stories and awesome world building, you should check out Far Away Paladin. Speaking of Isekai with good stories, The Saint's Magic Power is Omnipotent Season 2 is also airing this fall. While most Isekai that air these days are shonen, with a smattering of sign-in for good measure, The Saint's Magic Power is Omnipotent is a jose, meaning it's written for adult women. So if you like your Isekai to be character-driven, where the main girl has realistic goals and expectations, like being left alone so she can work rather than getting fawned over by competing nobles because of her status as the saint, you should check this one out. Season 1 was very good, and was one of my first videos on this channel. Wrapping up our sequels, we've got a fun and dumb harem rom-com in Girlfriend Girlfriend. Nothing I say will convince you to like this show. You either enjoy it for the silliness, or you hate this type of anime. Nothing against you if this isn't your cup of tea, but I enjoy it, especially since I know how it ends. If you haven't seen season one, this is the story of a guy who gets confessed to by a girl who is so amazing he can't turn her down, even though he's already got a girlfriend. So he does the airhead gigachad move and asks permission from his current girlfriend to date both of them at the same time. And since his current girlfriend is suppressing her bisexual tendencies and also finds herself attracted to this girl, she allows it. Shenanigans ensue. I also wanted to touch on a few series that I'm excited for that are new to anime, but are based on manga or novels that I've already done videos on. The first, of course, is Furian. Furian is the best fantasy manga I've read since Mao Yu. Every once in a while, a series comes along that blows away everything that has come before it, and this is one of them. The first episode is going to be about two hours, so buckle up. If you're a fan of fantasy, go watch this series. If you want a deeper dive into why, I'll post a link to my video in the upper right-hand corner. Next up, another fantasy that I've already done a video on, Berserk of Gluttony. This one is fun because you think it's going to be all dark and edgy, and to be fair, the main character's powers are on the dark side, but he's a good boy who just wants to protect his friend. You see, he was born with the gift of gluttony. Some gift, right? Always being hungry and too poor to buy food so he can eat his fill. But what his hunger really craves is souls. The first time he kills someone, his hunger is finally sated. 
Now, this could be a Dark and Evil series, but our main character really does protect innocence. Of course, he doesn't have a problem murdering bad guys or monsters. When a little girl gets kidnapped, he casually butchers the entire kidnapping ring. So if you like a bit of edge, but not too much in your fantasy, you should check out Berserk of Gluttony. And of course, the piece de resistance, the anime everyone has been eagerly awaiting, the 100 girlfriends who really, 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 really love you. If you hate life and having fun, avoid this anime. If you love anime, and I mean any and all types of anime, and you have a sense of humor, give this a watch. 100 Girlfriends is a parody of the harem rom-com genre, but it doesn't stop there. It parodies everything. One Piece, Dragon Ball, Laputa, any anime that has been big in the last 40 years gets made fun of. And even though this is a parody, the series mostly makes fun of itself and its own genre. Moving on to content that I've read but haven't done videos on, we've got the adorable romance Our Dating Story, The Experienced You and The Inexperienced Me. Despite the title, this one is very wholesome. Ryuto, a gloomy boy, is forced to confess to his crush due to a punishment game. His crush? Runa Shayakawa. Her response? Well, I'm between boyfriends right now, so why not? It turns out that Runa has a lot of experience with boys and is more than happy to give them what they want. But Ryuto wants a girlfriend, not a toy. And so Runa has her first actual boyfriend. You know that delectable gap moe of a gyaru who has no problem showing off her cleavage or even her panties, but blushes to her ears when you hold her hand? Yeah, that's this anime. Next up, something on the darker side, Kingdoms of Ruin, a bloody, brutal revenge tale. This won't be for everyone, I'll tell you straight up. Witches are being hunted to extinction by a new human kingdom using high technology. One boy, who was a human apprentice to a witch that was taught magic, watched his master get murdered in front of him and swore revenge on all of humanity. When he finally breaks out of prison, he lets loose a rage that winds up killing hundreds of innocents. And this guy is the protagonist. So if you're wanting a dark anime, check it out. The manga's phenomenal, but I have to mentally prepare myself when the new chapter comes out. Finally, a series that deserves its own video. I'm giving the disgraced noble lady I rescued a crash course in naughtiness. I'll spoil her with delicacies and style to make her the happiest woman in the world. I know, I know. That's a ridiculous title. But trust me when I say that this is a wonderful story. You've got an abused runaway girl scared of everything and an all-powerful wealthy wizard who takes her in, determined to help her overcome her trauma by teaching her naughty things. What kind of naughty things? How about eating ice cream before dinner? Or taking a break and playing games before your chores are finished? The series is heartwarming and adorable, and I'm very excited to watch it. Especially with Tomokazu Sugita voicing Alan Crawford, the main character. For those who don't know voice actors by name, this is the same guy that voices Rudius, Gin, Escanor, and hundreds of other characters. Wrapping up, there are just a couple that I've been meaning to read the source material on, I just haven't had the time. The first one is the Demon Swordmaster of Excalibur Academy. Basically, the Demon Lord gets reborn and then attends a school for heroes. The last one I wanted to check out is My Daughter Left the Nest and Returned an S-Rank Adventurer. Crippled adventurer finds a baby in the woods, raises her, she grows up and leaves to become an adventurer, then comes back as a world-famous hero, and she wants to now take care of her dad. Both these series look cute and fun, so I'll give them both a try. Which series are you excited for? Did I miss any that you're really wanting to see? I know we're getting a new season of Dr. Stone, but I'm still not caught up on either the anime or the manga. I just don't have as much time as I'd like. And with this packed schedule, I know I'll have to cut some corners and probably watch some series on a second monitor. Thanks for tuning in. Once again, a huge shout out to my editor Cute Stuff. I couldn't make these videos without her. If you'd like to hire her to edit your own videos, she can be reached at cutestuff.edits at gmail.com. Link down below. If you're looking for ways to support the channel directly, you can head on over to patreon.com slash Danon. There are several tiers to choose from. You can pick an anime or manga for me to do a video about, or you can join our monthly manga club. I also wanted to give a quick shout out to all of my patrons. 
Waffles, Jariah, Danny, Muffins, Marcus, Squishy, Brett, Roxy, Josh, Sean, Pob Zombie, Mark, Alex, Daniel, Steve, Kevin, Alex, Cookie, Borgie, Jake, Exiled Rogue, Manassas, Noswin, and Kyo. You guys are awesome. I post new anime or manga videos often, or you can click here to watch additional videos. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all again next time on Musings by Demon.